This is a lesson number two, sequencing with Scratch. As we know that lesson number one to lesson number five, all these are a part of sequencing. In lesson number one, we learned about drag and drop. So we are going to learn in lesson number two, sequencing with Scratch with few activities. So before that, I just want to explain you all the details. On the left side this puzzle area is known as a play area this is a workspace workspace is a area where we are going to work so we have to snap the code blocks here to complete the puzzle so that and what we have to do is we know that we have to follow the instructions we have to get scratch to the acron snap the e e block is that is the scratch has to move towards the e to get the acron so we have to move this east block to the bottom of the when run block then press run so basically what we have to do is once we have connected the blocks we have to press the run to start the program so this is our play area this is our workspace and this is our instruction area where we can see the instructions play area is having the puzzle this is scratch and we want the scratch to reach the acron so for that the scratch has to move towards the east so i told you in the lesson number one only that although these code blocks are there but it's not going to run if I'm going to run, nothing is going to happen. Why? Because these code blocks are not clicked together. So we have to snap them together. Now we have to do the reset. And now when we are going to run it, this acron is going to reach this. Uh, this crat is going to reach the acron. this we completed our activity number two of lesson number two let's move to third activity of this lesson we have to see the instruction area what we have to do now we have to snap both e blocks e blocks is east block so whenever we are going to see e e means east n means north S means south and W means west. So north, east, west, south, these are the directions. So east means we have to move to the right side. So can you see this scrat in the play area? That's for moving the scrat to the acron. The scrat has to move two times towards the east. So we have to snap two east blocks together. So we after doing that, after completing the code, we have to do the run to check if it is actually working or not. Yes, it is working. So congratulations, you completed puzzle number 3. So we are going to continue with the activity number 4. Play area. Now the uh, scratch is here and we have to move towards the acron so now the path is not the same it is you don't have to move in the same direction two times if your uh, scratch is moving towards the east then then it's going to come here so which block you will uh, move from this block area can you see this block area block area is having all the blocks which you are going to connect together so now this is our play area these are the blocks in whatever block you want to add to your workspace to complete the puzzle you are going to drag and drop it there right workspace is going to contain all the code which are written by you so all the code blocks are going to be here instruction area is we are going to follow the instructions grab 
a n block and means to moving towards the north block from the tool box and add it to the bottom of the other blocks to finish the code so we have already done that we have dragged and drop it and in case if you move some block by mistake suppose i move it one more so i did that by mistake so what we can do is we can just drag and drop it back also okay as simple as that this run button is going to run so how it is going to run is when run the this uh, scratch is going to move towards east then east then north that means 1 2 3 so it's going to reach the acron with this path okay so we are going to run yes congratulations you completed puzzle number 4 now we are going towards our next exercise which is exercise number 5 so we can see when run south east east south south means it's going to move down south east east can you see uh, there's an extra block with east second is this scrat is going to reach this acron so we don't need this south block so we are going to remove that and the instructions are th this only there is an extra block at the end of this code drag it back to the toolbox to throw it away so we have already dragged it back and we are going to run and see congratulations you completed puzzle number 5 now what are the instructions over here can you figure out which block you need to add to the bottom of the other blocks to finish this code so this is our puzzle area this is run this is the blocks which we can use and this is the workspace so two times the all blocks are already there the two times east side the scrat is going to move so in order to reach the acron the scrat has to move toward down also so we are going to take the south that is it's going to move down see i'll just show you what is the difference between run run uh, as you can see that that the whole instructions were executed in a one go but if i click step i can just check at each step what is happening with step i click once only this code is executed if i execute it second time then second code is going to execute and if i go third time if i click step then third third block is going to be executed so we have completed the puzzle number 6 Here is the last puzzle. Try this all by yourself now. Now, how you can reach? How the scrat can reach the acron? The scrat has to move in the west direction towards the left. So two times, if the scrat is going to move towards the west, then it's going to reach the acron. Yes. So we completed our exercise number seven also.